how are you? My name is Brian Lally, and I'm a radiation oncologist here in Doylestown. If you come to see me and I recommend radiation therapy for you, the next step is an appointment called CT simulation. This appointment usually lasts about 60 minutes, but may be a little bit longer. And I'm sure you're wondering, what is a CT simulation appointment? And it is the first step as we plan radiation therapy just for you. So we begin a CT simulation by putting in a position on a table that will be reproduced every day of your treatment. We also try to make sure that you are not moving during treatment. Achieving these goals ensures that we are treating your cancer with the highest level of accuracy each and every day. Today's video is very general to what you can expect during this simulation procedure. I will be ordering specific instructions just for you, depending on your plan of care and what we need to do to cure your cancer. And some patients, I may suggest that they do a bowel prep to empty their colon. Other patients may drink a lot of water to fill their bladder before these appointments. Other patients still, I may do some things like have an IV in place so that we can give them contrast. Doing these steps helps me to make sure that we are seeing your anatomy with a great level of precision. Before the procedure, all patients will be changing into a gown, so I suggest you wear comfortable clothes and shoes when you come to your simulation appointment. So now we're going to talk about devices we use to position you. These will likely vary depending on the body part that we're gonna be treating. For patients who require treatment to the brain or head and neck region, we're gonna make a mask just to fit you. These are two examples of what they could look like, okay? And I'm gonna show you one, this one they made of me, so you can see how it fits me. And so I'm sure you're wondering is how do we make these? And this is made by taking a piece of plastic like this and warming up in water. And then that allows it to become stretchable and we just lay it over your face. And when it cools, it becomes hard and maintains a mold of your face. So that way your head is in the same position every day for treatment. If you have problems with claustrophobia, let me know right away. For patients who are getting radiation therapy to the chest or spine area, we may use a beanbag like this. We will ask you to raise your arms over your head and grab these two poles at the top of the table. So that way we put you in the same position every day. But as you can see right now, the beanbag is deflated. So we're going to suck the air out of the beanbag to let it mold to your body. So what you can see is we've now deflated or taken all the air out of the bean bag. And it's maintained a rigid shape that will be forming your body. So when you lie down every day for treatment, your body lies into the same position. The other thing I wanna point out here is this little box that will sit on the top of your xiphoid area. We have cameras that watch you breathe and we'll see this box move up and down with respiration. We then coordinate these movements with something called a 4D CAT scan that allows us to count for any respiration that occurs during your treatment. The other things that we do to minimize movement or respiration during your treatment is this device here called a compression belt. It wraps around your waist and it has an air bladder underneath. And we inflate that bladder to the same pressure every day for treatment. So that way, instead of breathing like this, you breathe like this. And that decrease in movement allows us to treat with smaller margins and a smaller target volume. These are some of the steps that we do to make sure you're in the same place and we are treating the same area where your cancer is every day. For patients who will get radiation therapy to the abdomen or pelvis, we have you lay flat on the table. 
We'll have your arms on your chest holding this O-ring as you see here. We'll put that wedge that you see under your knees and another pillow as you see underneath your feet. Together, these devices allow us to kind of lock your legs and pelvis into the same position every day. And if we do that, your pelvis and abdomen should be in the same position too. These are just other ways that we do to immobilize you. And once we're done this process of putting in this position, we run you through a quick CT scan to obtain images. This is another device that we use to try and control respiration during treatment. This is called SDX. And what we're doing is we're trying to coach you about when you breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and time the radiation so that we're able to target your tumor when by respiration, it's away from other critical organs in your body that we want to avoid. The way this is set up is that we have a mouthpiece that's kind of like the scuba mouthpiece, the respirator, that you use when snorkeling or scuba diving. And what happens is, is that it detects that breath in and out. These glasses that you see here are actually video monitors that flash up, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And what you will see is that by coaching you, we were able to then predict when your tumor is gonna be in different positions during respirations and develop a plan that uses that to our advantage. As part of the process to make sure that we are accurately treating your tumor, we make small dark circles on your skin using a tattoo needle. These tattoos line up with the lasers in our treatment room and they look like this here on the skin. Some patients don't like seeing the black mark from the tattoo. So we have the ability to use a certain type of tattoo dye that you cannot see on the skin unless you illuminate with a UV light as seen here on my hand. Once the marks are placed, we will then move you into the CAT scanner like this. And as you can see, it's a very quick process. And you can also see on both sides of the machine. Once this simulation procedure is done, we're gonna have you change back into your street clothes. My team will then give you an appointment to start treatment in one to two weeks time. During this time, we are contouring out all the anatomy we want to avoid, as well as the tumor that we want to target. We have an extensive QA program, so all plans are reviewed to make sure they're at the highest quality before we begin treatment. If you have any questions about this process, please do not hesitate to reach out to me or any member of my team. Our goal is to support you on your cancer journey so you achieve the highest success possible. Thank you.